Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to UMBC's 69th Commencement Exercises, which will begin in just a few minutes. First, let me share a few details with you. During the ceremony, please do not leave your seats to take photographs or videos. Aisles must remain clear at all times, and guests are not allowed on the main floor. Parents, for safety reasons, please do not allow children to climb on the railings. Please keep children in their seats. In the event of an emergency, please note the emergency exits located throughout the building. Emergency medical services are available at the rear of the lower level. Out of courtesy to our graduates and guests, we ask that you please turn off your cell phones and other electronic devices, and please remain in the arena until the end of the ceremony. Finally, our commencement program lists all the names of students eligible to participate in this ceremony, whether or not they are present. Some names may not appear in the program if the student did not submit a graduate application on time, or the names were not received by the final printing deadline. Now, please turn your attention to the far end of the rack arena, where the commencement procession will enter. The procession of undergraduates is led by the student's marshal, Dr. Marie Desjardins, the 2014 Presidential Teaching Professor and Associate Dean in the College of Engineering and Information Technology and Professor of Computer Science and Electrical Engineering.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as the faculty and staff and the platform party enter the arena. The faculty and staff procession is led by the faculty marshal, Dr. Tim Finan, the 2012 to 2015 Presidential Research Professor, and the Willard and Lillian Hackerman Chair in Engineering. He is joined by staff marshal, Ms. Cheryl Johnson, the 2012 recipient of the Presidential Distinguished Staff Award for non-exempt staff and grant specialist in the Office of Contract and Grant Accounting. The faculty, staff, and students marshals are carrying batons that the UMBC Alumni Association gave to the university in honor of our 40th anniversary in 2006. The platform party is led by the Grand Marshal, Dr. Ganesh Koru, Vice President of the Faculty Senate and Associate Professor of Information Systems. The Grand Marshal carries the university mace, a symbol of presidential authority. Used only on formal academic occasions, it is carried in the procession immediately before the president. UMBC's mace was commissioned by the Alumni Association for UMBC's 20th anniversary in 1986. The 69th commencement exercises of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County will now be in order. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our anthem, sung by Ms. Isabella Amberger, a senior vocal performance major 
who last summer sang the role of Madame Pompous in the Little Patuxent Opera Institute's production of Too Many Sopranos. Gentlemen, please remove your hats or caps during the anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to introduce the president of UMBC, Dr. Freeman Rabowski. Having served as UMBC's president for 25 years, Dr. Rabowski has brought tremendous energy, vision, and leadership to this institution. He has helped connect the university with individuals, companies, foundations, and agencies that have brought new resources to build and sustain distinctive programs in undergraduate and graduate edu education and research. Dr. Roboski. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning again. It is a great day. We are delighted to see the families and friends of our new graduates and to celebrate this special occasion. Students, how many of you did not think the day was going to come? Ah. And how many of you spent many a night wondering when will it ever come to this point? Yeah. Uh-huh. Parents, how many of you were wondering when is he, uh, she going to finally get there? And when, but how many of you family members knew that your son or daughter or family member was going to make it? Raise your hand. <laughs> Please join me in recognizing our soloist, Isabella Umberger. She's amazingly, she's only a sophomore. What a gift. Give her a round of applause. Before continuing, I'd like to acknowledge members of the platform with the members of the President's Council and the Presidents of our Campus Senates and the Presidential Award recipients, please stand. Would you give them a round of applause? Uh. You know, I, I, I talked yesterday at the graduate commencement where we were graduating large numbers of PhDs and master's students about the pre my predecessor here, Michael Hooker, the president, Mike, late Michael Hooker, who told the story about loving pizza students. He said that he loved pizza so much that he'd be eating one piece and already with his eye on the second piece. And one day he realized he really wasn't enjoying the piece he was eating because he was so concerned about the next piece, right? And the message he was giving us was this, savor this moment. This is a special day. You are surrounded by people who love you. You've got people here who work with you all your lives in many cases. Would you, I'm going to ask all the members of families and friends of graduates to rise so we can applaud you. All family and friends of graduates. And now I'm going to ask the members of our faculty and staff, because they've been supportive of you, with the faculty and staff please stand so we can give them a round of applause.
Graduates, amazingly, some of you already have jobs and you are starting to work already. Some of you, how many of you actually worked some while you were in college? Raise your hands. Give them a round of applause for that. It's a big deal. Some of you will be going to work for the intelligence community, Department of Defense, different companies, school systems, and others. And others of you are going on to grad school, a large numbers. All of you who are planning to be a teacher, stand up. Let me see who you are. And if there are any teachers in the audience, I want you to stand. Any teachers in the audience, I want you to stand. Very important that we recognize any society appreciates its teachers. Now I want any students who are going to become social workers, and any social workers in the audience, please stand, because we need all of you. And any students who are going to be social workers. <laughs> and then any of our graduates or people in the audience who are either in the military or veterans, please stand. Let's see who you are. And veterans. Very nice, very nice. And now students graduating who have red cords on, uh, uh, to the audience, people who have red cords on have, are graduating with a perfect 4.0. Where are my perfect 4.0? Stand up. I, I, I want to say to the faculty, they know that some, I'm at some commencements and they say that, and literally 30, 40 percent. We had eight people with, there's no great inflation at UNBC. Give the faculty a hand for very high standards. Wait a minute. <laughs> there were eight. <laughs> and so here is the point to all of our graduates. You are here because you wanted to better yourselves. You're here because you wanted to get an education, to learn how to think. And I say this to you with great sincerity. You will do well in life for yourselves and your families. But life is about more than helping self. It is about using your talents to help the world. Sometimes people you don't even know. And one way you can do that is by thinking about what the Supreme Court Justice Louis Brandeis said years ago that the most important office in our nation is that of private citizen. And he talked about what it means to be an engaged private citizen. Recently, the head of Phi Beta Kappa talked with presidents and others about three skills that any educated person who is an engaged private citizen should think about. And I want you at this time in our country to think about what it means to be an educated man or woman, to be an engaged private citizen. Number one, he talked about the need to be able to turn raw information into knowledge and to develop the ability to think about what that knowledge means to the world. And secondly, a citizen must be able to evaluate arguments, just as statements of fact must be proven, not merely asserted, Arguments must be rational and logical and not simply propounded. And finally, a private citizen must be able to engage in reasoned debate and to understand that you want to make rational claims based on provable truths and then to be able to listen to people who may think differently from yourself. Give me a round of applause for the idea of learning how to listen to other people who think differently from ourselves. It's very important, very important. We need this kind of citizen now more than ever. Students, you need to know that in America, still only about 30% of American citizens are educated with a college degree. You, you are in the top group of American citizens. Some of you are from other countries and fewer in those countries. So you represent our leaders. And we need you to support not just yourselves, not just your families, but people, children, older citizens, vulnerable people in our populations. I want us to give our country a round of applause for being a place that's going to do the right thing. Finally, and all that, it will do the right thing. 
I'm now delighted to welcome to the podium Mr. Robert Roush, who's a member of the University System of Board of Regents. We're pleased that he's here with us today. And he is speaking as the region for the first. This is the last time we will be in this facility. Give the facility a round of applause for commencement. Give the facility a round of applause so more family members can get into the next facility. I promise you. <laughs> Please. Well, good morning. Good morning. As a member of the Board of Regents, we have a lot of duties, chores, responsibilities, but I've got to tell you, being able to preside over the graduations is truly the, the biggest privilege and certainly the most enjoyable. I've had the great privilege to preside over graduations for a variety of institutions, both in this country and, and a number of overseas. But this is one of the toughest duties because I have to follow your president. <laughs> Nobody wants to follow your president in talking at all, but I'll do my best. It is an honor to um, uh, be here today with President Herbowski, your provost, Philip Rouse, your deans, your professors, and all the administration. I asked Dr. Herbowski, is there anything special you want me to say? Well, he, he was succinct, very specific, and I didn't need a higher education degree to understand that he told me what he wanted, but his real message was be brief. So <laughs> my, my plan is to be brief. But the message that he told me, and it's, it's truly a message here, certainly here, but throughout the system, is to make sure you know that we care. We care the entire uh, family at UMBC, or, and. Uh, uh, the university system care. You're our greatest asset, our students, our graduates. That's who we invest in. That's who we're looking toward for the future. Clearly, UMBC attracts the very best. That's you. You know you are. Your achievements are outstanding, and we expect great things from you. But also, you also obviously know that you've received the very best in education and leadership. In my effort to be brief, my parting word is to remind you, and, and you've heard it before, that life is not a dress rehearsal. Uh, you'll hear many platitudes describing how you should lead your life, how you should follow your dreams. You're going to hear honesty, honestly, tirelessly, affectionately, intellectually. My advice is passionately. Passion is infectious. Passion gets you the attention you need, the results you expect, and you've got the absolute best example right here in Dr. Hrabowski. So be passionate, be successful, and congratulations. Great. You did. That was great. Give him a hand for that message and for his brevity. Give him a round of applause. That's great. That's great. And what, what a message about passion for learning Young people, students of all ages, we've got people from so many backgrounds. I want you to think about this. Most people don't really remember much that's said at commencement, to be honest with you. But there are some things that are important. The one thing I just thought about that I want you to think about that I remember more than anything else from 40-some years ago is that somebody said to me, believe in yourself. What your family members have been telling you all your lives, what your faculty are saying to you is that in life, if you can believe in yourself with that passion, all things are possible. So take the time today as you're savoring the moment to think about all the hard work and all the love you were given. This is your day just to bask in that love and to know we believe in you. With that, I'm pleased to introduce our provost, Dr. Philip Rouse, professor of physics and an amazing academic. Dr. Rouse, provost. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And I have to say to start off, I think I've actually got the toughest job today to, to follow our president and regent. Um, but I'll do my best. Um, first of all, I'd like to extend my congratulations to all of our graduates today and extend them on behalf of our entire scholarly community. Of course, we had very high expectations when we welcomed you as a member of the UMBC community, and those expectations were based upon your promise as scholars. 
Today, we celebrate your fulfillment of that promise. This ceremony always reminds me of the words of G.K. Chesterton. And those words are, education is simply the soul of a society as it passes from one generation to another. So today, we acknowledge not only your accomplishment, but also, in some sense, the passing of the torch from one generation to another. Today, you will join our community of UMBC alumni who dedicate their lives to making a difference by advancing our understanding of our own humanity, our democracy, and the natural world that surrounds us. And of course, your achievement represents not just your academic accomplishments, but the friendships you've formed, the faculty who nurtured you, and the family and friends who supported you and helped you to arrive here today. So I hope well, you will see your achievement as emerging from within the, within the context of a community, a community that knows you and a community that cares about you. So as you look to the future, I believe that your fulfillment will derive from making the most of whatever talents have been bestowed, bestowed upon each of you. And it lies in extending to the farthest limits the resources of your mind and of your heart. So in conclusion, I would like to leave you with, I guess, what we could call a final salutation. And here it is. Graduates, may you enjoy a life rich in the knowledge that each day your work and your relationships have truly made a difference. Congratulations. Thank you, Philip, very much. At this point, I'd like to recognize Daniel Burnett, the Vice President for Finance for the Alumni Association. She is, give her a round of applause, would you? Yeah, uh huh. She is representing our 70,000 alumni. She has a bachelor's uh, from UMBC in 2000 and a master's both in information systems management. She's the founder and president of her own company, Applied Technology Services. She'll be presenting each graduate with a memento on behalf of our association. You are now, in a little while, you'll be members of that association. One more round of applause for Danielle. As we're getting ready to go into the part you really like, I want to ask a couple of questions of the class. I want people to get a sense of who you are. How many of you plan to go to grad school one day? Stand up if you're planning to go to grad school one day, either now or whatever. Give a bit. Now that's UMBC. You get what I mean? That is UMBC. It's, it's wonderful. And how many of you either have a job or you're close to getting a job and you're planning to get a job? Families want to know that too, uh-huh. Yeah, that's your MVC, yeah. Family members like that. They like that a lot. You may have a seat, that's great. And family members applauded a lot on that one. Did you get that, students? <laughs> they have plans for your room, I hate to tell you. They really, they really do, wait a minute. Now, let me just show you how you are citizens of the world. How many of you have at least one parent who came to this country from another country. Stand up, let's see what you look like. It is very inspiring. And, and, that, and that is who America is, uh, a country made up of human beings from all over the world. A round of applause for humankind, for humankind. It's very important. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now proceed to award our degrees. Please will the candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise. We're going to ask you to remain in the uh, auditorium until all of this is over. With you will find this will move very swiftly, but we want you to stay through the singing of the alma mater. But I will say, in a lot of commencements, people will tell people not to applaud for the family member. We have no problem. Just enjoy yourselves. Be dignified, but enjoy yourselves. <laughs> it's possible to be dignified and enjoy yourself, okay? You get my point. Uh, Dr. Rouse? Dr. Rabowski. Yes. Dr. Rabowski, I have the honor of presenting the candidates recommended by the UMBC faculty for the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, 
and Bachelor of Sciences degrees. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the State of Maryland given to the Chancellor of the University System of Maryland and the Board of Regents and by them entrusted to me, I hereby admit you to the bachelor's degree which you have earned during the course of your studies at UMBC. In token whereof, you shall be given a diploma with all of the honors, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. Now will the candidates please proceed under the direction of the students, mar students marshal, Dr. Marie Desjardins, and the commencement officials to the platform to receive their degrees. And ladies and gentlemen, um, will all of the graduates, their families and friends please remain in the arena until the ceremony has concluded. Thank you. We now present the graduates in American Studies. Paul Adam Dronberg, Jody L. Grandier, cum laude, Rebecca D. Turetsky, summa cum laude. We now present the graduates in Asian Studies. Faye Elise Canaveral, Tracy A. Chance, Abigail Jones, Lisa Ann March, magna cum laude. We now present the graduates in dance. Eric Holmes. Sarah N. Schmitz, cum laude. Nerissa Gail Vasconcells, magna cum laude. Kendra Nicole Wellborn, cum laude. We now present the graduates in economics. Therese Joyce Bautista. Camden Belenko. Desiree S. Bennett. Mary H. Bennett, cum laude. Franklin Z. Chen. Scott T. Eppinger. Purcell Freeman, Jr. Inti Guaman. Benjamin Healy. Savannah Eve Hornberger. Brian J. Krause. Edward Gibson Lee. Wei Jun Lei. Mina Y. Lescano. Han Win. Zandalyn Patterson Askew. Arusha Pereira. Chalit Gudzai Guramani. Mada Kebi Kaikai. Baruch A. Hapte. Christine Portillo. Kyle Pozano. Pranav Aradya Rao. Elizabeth J. Schuler, Magna Cum Laude. Christopher James Slack. Riyad Akorede Adeola Oyimboade, Autumn T. Smith, Xiaolin Su, Si Yu Wang, Tyler Sumner, Tercera Wangui Waweru, Rebecca Francine Woynar, Alexandra Nicole Woodruff, Elena Chianhui Shu, Eric J. Yu, Alisa Karina Zaidi, we now present the graduates in Emergency Health Services. Christos Paneris. We now present the graduates in English. Megan A. Alice. Renee Lynn Booker, summa cum laude. Lucy Antonia Culver. Alonzo C. Gaither. Emily Hogan. Declan S. Keefe. Dionisio Antonio Lacayo Mejia. Brea Lassiter. Carolina Mello, Natalie Nakashian, Morgan A. Roden, cum laude, Ji Yun Ryu, cum laude, Rebecca Shannon Young, Daniel Welch. We now present the graduates in Gender and Women's Studies, Jenna L. Porter, 
We now present the graduates in Geography and Environmental Systems. Ian Baker, cum laude. Logan D. Beckner. Juan Camacho, cum laude. Justin Deckert. Brooke Derenberger. Tyler Curtis Evans. Marie Jackson. Hassan A. James II. Michelle Patricia Kotoski, cum laude. Catherine K. Larni Munila. Devani Patel. Broderick Smith. Zdravko Stojanovic. Jasmine Sun. Olivia Wisner. Shane V. Herman. Alexander Wood. Daniel Woodell. We now present the graduates in Global Studies. Mara R. DeRoche. We now present the graduates in History. Ross A. Bater. Aaron Blank, cum laude. Austin Copes. Catherine S. Dick. Kevin Lobach. Victor Macogliano. Robert James Olson. Aaron R. Reddish, magna cum laude. Alexandra Runnings. Isaac H. Sanford Crane. Thomas Wilson. We now present the graduates in Media and Communication Studies. Eva Anzola. Emily Armitage. Adam Albert Block. Jessica G. Boak. Steve N. Bobadilla. Jada Renee Cobb. Nicole Eggleston, cum laude. Bernadine Levine. Maximus Maxwell. Joel Onukwubiri. Punyaporn Payakawan. Evan Christopher Pfeiffer. Carlise Amber Simpson. Sepida Temori, cum laude. Eric Bennett Westcote. We now present the graduates in Modern Languages, Linguistics, and Intercultural Communications. Samantha Allison Albright. N. Daisy, magna cum laude. Dauda Jallo. Alisa Dewing. Cameron G. Hensel. Sienna Don B. Kim. Mary Rose Spears. Julia C. Stone, magna cum laude. We now present the graduates in music. Benjamin Christopher Hardwick. Alexander J. Weber, cum laude. Thomas Moore. We now present the graduates in political science. Micaias E. Akama, cum laude. Armish Baksh. Keegan F. Dill. Thomas C. Dewar. Lana Ferris Fockery. Sean Foley. Sean Taylor Gregory. Steve Fuentes, cum laude. Nestor Jimenez. Alejandra Lontop Maldonado. Michael S. Raup, cum laude. Dacia Ann Marie Rose. Angeliki Garrisamitis. Matthew Trail. Sumner S. Weiss. Alexander D. Zarlenga. We now present the graduates in psychology. Diana A. Bonora, magna cum laude. Anna Baranova. Melanie Robin Biddinger, summa cum laude. Melissa Selby Biddinger, summa cum laude. Michelle Lynn Biddinger, magna cum laude. Amanda R. Blasetti. Cody Joseph Brown, Stephanie Caracciolo, Shusha Chen, cum laude, Aitan Raphael Cohen, Carly Compton, cum laude, Alexis C. Cruz, Mustafa C. Diamande, Marissa A. Duncan, Janiqua Dunn, cum laude, Nicole Gibran Fatouche, Brian Giovanni Franco, Elizabeth Mora Fraser. Fanny Gutierrez. Sharika Harley. Liesl Marie Hartline. 
Russell K. Jensen. Tapiwa Kondamiri. Priska Ekachinya Ray Echeberry. Karen Kapoor. James Lee. William C. Kerr. Marta Cassetti. I. C. Kin. Yoon Ju Kim. Morgan Knott. Anya Komsich, Magna Cum Laude. Dan B. Lim, Cum Laude. Bernard S. Little, Cum Laude. Nicole L. Macapinlack. Dorian Mangual. Maureen McAllister, Magna Cum Laude. Chandra Lamont McCoggle. Emma Lynn Matthews. Madison Elise Meany. Elizabeth Noodleman, Cum Laude. Brianna Keyshawn Dunlap Griffin. Binny Nick. Ashley Noy. Stephen Nam. Melody Bita Nazari. Jameen Amrish Patel. Marie E. Patterson, Cum Laude. Sydney Elizabeth Penny. Ashley Pettit, Cum Laude. Rochelle Pinchinat. Tornika Rakviashvili. Rajanik Reese. Serena B. Rosario. Jocelyn J. Salas Kispe. Gabriella Rosa Smith. Wanda Vanessa Salcido. Brianna E. Stump. Kayvon R. Sari. Emily Samoz De Silva, Cum Laude. Sana Jasira Sabah. Nicole Sunleitner Scarola, Magna Cum Laude. Sweetie Sebastian. Lisa Yvette Stewart. Wallace Woto Suku. Sakshi Suri. Ashley Troutman. Sarah Valletta. Leah Nicole Volkel. Mark Isaiah Whitehead. Jocelyn Wiley. Sabrina Janille Williams. Magna Cum Laude. Yvonne D. Williams. Lara Wilsey. We now present the graduates in Sociology, Anthropology, and Health Administration and Policy. Assam Ahmed, Cum Laude. Michelle L. Aladi. Marilyn S. Alvarez. Zach Azigi. Trayvon Daryl Ball. Tierra Jeanette Baker. Tony B. Chen. Zachary R. Goodman. Kathleen Anderson Grace. Carlos Alejandro Guzman. Taiki Haugen, cum laude. Nicole Hung. Kelsey Taylor Jones. Patrice G. Jones. Aminata Ba. Rajbir Kaur. Yaya Koita. Meredith R. Fowler, cum laude. Unha Grace Lee. Yubin Lim. Nicholas James Loyadis, cum laude. Larissa Christina Meda, Allison May. Tahera Nakvi. Adebayo Oduwan. Sung Un Park. Valerie Pasquale. Lockman Laura Fan. Kevin R. Phillip. Sami I. Syed. Kaylee M. Tilton. Lindsay Marie Titus, summa cum laude. Courtney Walters, magna cum laude. Galila Fasica Williams. Lana G. Williamson. Elaine Young. We now present the graduates in theater. Jamal Bascom Barringer. Jeremy Donald Bennett. Brittany L. Federici, summa cum laude. Hannah Rose Kennedy, cum laude. Devin D. McKay, Jordan Ross, um, 
We now present the graduates in visual arts. Omar S. Ahmed, magna cum laude. Melanie Bigler. Yasmin Bushlagem, magna cum laude. Alan Bryan. Samuel T. Butner, summa cum laude. Shannon N. Burroughs, cum laude. Desmond D. Carter. Eric Michael Cooper, magna cum laude. Jacob Clinton Costlow, magna cum laude. Luke Cummins. Taylor Davis, cum laude. Nicholas J. DeRoyne, cum laude. Tyler Giles. Kelly Ann Haggerty. Kristen Noel Klesig. Jansen P. Lampetok. Astrid C. Laredo. Quinn Mack, cum laude. Patrick N. McCarthy. Martin Dana Murphy, magna cum laude. Larry Ohaka, Ashley R. Owens, Melissa D. Prather, magna cum laude, Kristen H. Sponar, magna cum laude, Yasmin V. Solomon, Jamie Stanley, cum laude, Christine Amy Stringer, magna cum laude, Megan Tillman, cum laude, Liesl Marie Andorador Zambo. We now present the graduates in Management of Aging Services. Rodney Elliott. Amy Louise Huber, cum laude. Christine M. Rosario. We now present the graduates in interdisciplinary studies. Sarah W. Miller, magna cum laude. Ziona Nesaver, cum laude. We now present the graduates in biochemistry and molecular biology. C.K. K. Bata. Sarah M. Bauer, magna cum laude. Olivia D. Benton. Marta Dorota Chojnowska. Yehuda Lowenstein. Amar Syed Raza. Buddha Mali, cum laude. Chukuwameka Kalechi Marume, cum laude. Tina Nasehi, cum laude. Christina D. Nordmark, magna cum laude. Shreyas S. Patel. Priyanka Roniar. Emily S. Roberts. Daniel Romero Figueroa, cum laude. Ishan S. Sandhu. We now present the graduates in bioinformatics and computational biology. Aditola A. Abdul Qadir. Kaylin L. Clark. Yi Yuan Guo. Amy Catherine Bodine. Laura S. Roth. We now present the graduates in biological sciences. Ryan Ziad Abi Joma. Sophia Atkar Ahmad. Alisa A. Banerjee. Carrie Bryan. James M. Byrne. Ryan Paul Cortez, magna cum laude. Jessica Nicole Denny. Alexander Duhanin. John Ferdinand B. Ebot. Claire Endress. Oscar Scott Flores. Yawande Olusolo Fagbamila. Elgar Gabibov. Casey Lynn Gardner. Heidi L. Grice. Gregory A. Hawk. Brianna Horn. Tevin Howard. Maisha J. Jeffries. My young son Jun, magna cum laude. Slayman Kalab. Charles M. Klontz. Cum laude. Martin Lee. Ashley Maria Lesnevsky. <laughs> Joshua L. Lockwood. Cum laude. Kushbu Ruman. Mariama L. Magona. Jean Dark de Victoire Matcham. Muhammad Hassan Mushtaq. Magna cum laude. Renee M. Wongachuchu. 
Magna Cum Laude. Pakei Eng. Arnell Stephanie and Juman and Jingit. Alexandria Ogletree. Jockway Myron Kashim O'Neill. Anita Yu Osifo. Aisha Patel. Dhruv P. Patel. Carly Siandra, Cum Laude. Parishi Sheth. Olivia C. Simonetti. Amelia B. Smith, Cum Laude. Lauren M. Stum. Kayla H. Simanic, Cum Laude. Maria Tahir, Magna Cum Laude. Omino Ozako, Cum Laude. Nui Tayang. Crystal Vong. Alexandra White, Cum Laude. Andrew Zhu. A. Lim Young, Cum Laude. <laughs> Safa Zahangir. <laughs> Tiffany Chong, Summa Cum Laude. We now present the graduates in chemistry and biochemistry. Amanda Michelle Connor. Pablo L. Zombo, Jr. We now present the graduates in mathematics and statistics. Yana C. Breyer. Shaniqua V. Armstead. Brent A. Cherrier. Qinghao Chen. Megan K. Connolly. Adam M. Davison, cum laude. Ariel L. Ford. Edward Glover. Lily N. Glushiko Smith. Bobga Herman Guanvoma. Alex M. Holschneider, magna cum laude. Amal Mariam Khan, cum laude. Rachel A. Linder, summa cum laude. Dylan R. McDermott. Gerald B. Payton. Nicholas J. Pham. Julia N. Prentice, summa cum laude. Milana Anae Sampson. Morgan J. Stark. Lauren Vermeer. We now present the graduates in physics. Daniel E. Koss. Sarah M. Knopp, cum laude. Matthew Mascone. Gordon McDonnell. Philip C. Rund, summa cum laude. We now present the graduates in chemical, biochemical, and environmental engineering. Dimitri Jiki. Xavier Jonathan Harley. Emmanuel Temilaloa Olalea. Eric P. Setji, magna cum laude. Ryan Wyatt, cum laude. We now present the graduates in computer science and electrical engineering. Robert J. Annie. Trishant Batija. James R. Bilbrey. Robert Bradshaw. Michael L. Byers, cum laude. Timothy Gallinan. Matthew R. Callens. Morgan W. Campbell. Luke A. Carrico, cum laude. Braxton Dubin. Kristen Ennis. Sam McKellen Everett, cum laude. Sherwin Fong. Kyle Gorenson. Aiden C. Gray. Krunal M. Herpara. An L. Ho. Matthew E. Hood. Laras Itsukoma. Abhinav Jambulingam. Alex Klemenko. Jacob B. Lutz, cum laude. Sun Sing Lung. Andrew Jonathan Maddox. Donald N. Muse. Joshua E. Meyer. 
David James Morgan. Samuel R. Morgenthau. Nira Pancholi. Zafa Mamarakavo. Krishna H. Patel. Vihar Patel. Jiayong Lim, magna cum laude. Travis Wee Win. Zachary Rush. Jamal Savoy. Eric Shum. Joshua Shomo. Christopher S. Seidel. Melissa C. Tai. Min J. Yo. Eric H. Yu. Yui Yu, cum laude. Danielle Zach, cum laude. We now present the graduates in mechanical engineering. Jess C. Altman. Sagar Bosnit. Derek Stephen Bebo, cum laude. Kevin Benning. M. Ray Brock. Stanley Turvin. Mark A. Copenhaver. Mary Grace Crystal. Trevor Vincent Evans. Leonard C. Jacques. Danny M. Joe. Eduardo Gabriel Garcia. Ahmad Gondal. Thomas Kirsting. Alexander Koval. Donovan Lawrence. Gabriel Margarita. Ryan Mariano. Allison C. Mark, summa cum laude. John Mac McLeod. Paul S. Peterson. Gabriel Palmier. Luis Ramos Peralta. Christian Smith. Vincent J. Strzyzewski. Robert Sullivan. Joshua Taggart Scarf. Simona Tsakova. Benjamin Owen Tucker. Richard J. Ward. Alexander T. Warder. Kevin C. Waters, cum laude. Nicholas T. Watkins. Dominique Dante Wheeler. James Michael Whipple. We now present the graduates in information systems. Pravanthika Aluri. Chakudi De Amafule. Jesse James Argeta. Malik Arsalan. Wilson Asmara. Keith W. Bailey. Debashish Banerjee. Ashley P. Barnes. Amanda C. Borrowy. Arshakia M. Brown. Bradley E. Bruce. Nicholas W. Bullis, cum laude. Joshua Bumbray. Jeffrey Casella, cum laude. Angelo Castellini. Cannon B. Caudle. Vincent S. Celebrato Royer. Joseph Kyungdo Chang. Pragya Chowdhury, cum laude. Umer Chowdhury. Kevin Choi. Peter Chong, cum laude. Nida Chowdhury. Brandon Christopher Corbett. Connor Dowell. Zachariah Zielinski. Rafaela Cristian Lopez Estrera. Ian Evans. Anthony Everett. Nathan Fenta. Gabriela Osang Galang. Aaron Gabison. Michael B. Gardner. Amber M. Genius. Preeta Bhuvanaswari Govindaraju. Orbray D. Griffin. Anam Gundal. Wesley Gunto. Nicholas Hiley. David Hailu. Sean R. Harriet. Iba Hassan. Essa Hijazi. Stephen R. Hobbs. 
Adam S. Hughes Baldwin. Tarane N. Izadi, cum laude. Asfer Syed Jaffrey. Mohammed Jello. Ronald R. Jones. Justin Sejan Jung. Jason Kalapnayu. Jespreet Kaur. Daniel S. Kim. Grayson King, cum laude. Cindy S. Kishoyan, cum laude. Abrera Sophie Kozalin, magna cum laude. Ryan Matthew Konsowski. Ji Xiang Li, cum laude. Darian B. Lee. Young Yo Li, cum laude. Jung Yun Li. Dishan Lu, magna cum laude. Christina Makaspak. Joseph Manasa. Sunita N. Meng. Grace Marshall, magna cum laude. John Randolph Marshall, cum laude. San Sun Wing Meng. Brian J. Mayers. Austin Donald Mantel. Shweta Maravada. Daniel Mears, cum laude. Alex D. Murphy. Connie Lung, cum laude. Christine Wynn. Nock Long H. Wynn. Samuel Asarvatham Noble. Pyongampur Noiwan, cum laude. Sydney Carolyn Noppenberger. Tristan Ecker. Fayisayu Omotoso. Kofi Opaku. Jun Young Park. Samuel Park. Sagar S. Patel. Arjun A. Reichman. Andrew D. Rimel. Ariel J. Rubio Perez. Gerald Cole Selander. Hossein Sharif. Stanley Shu. Derek L. Staub. John Joseph Stout. Nathan M. Tedessa. Winfield Taylor. Anthony Fontaine Templeton. Josiah Adams Tillett. Christopher Tomlinson. Orphan Christiane Toralba. Patrick Ventania. Mikhail Viray. Bethany Ann von Ludwig, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Michelle Willett, summa cum laude. Daniel M. Wu. Crystal Yim. Ara Shasofi, cum laude. Noor Khaled Zainab, magna cum laude. We now present the graduates in social work. Rosaline Maria Allen. Danielle Combs, magna cum laude. Juliet Anna Kasman, magna cum laude. Baya Lotur. Chantal N. Angela. Matthew Smiley. Amber Lynn Tolsdorf, cum laude. Symphony J. Walkley, cum laude. Kiana Ward. Ola Wagbutemi M. Igbarola. Well done. And now, before I ask you to turn your tassels, two things I would like to say. One that's really important. So many of you told me about your jobs and the graduate schools and medical school and, and law school, and some saying we're working to find a job. And I say this to the families and to the graduates that you all are a part of us. And so if I were you, if you've not found that job yet, I want you to continue working with UMBC with our Career Center, you're always a part of UMBC. Alumni come back all the time. We have hundreds of companies here. And the thing that I want to say that I've not said before is this. Many people are now accustomed to using social media and sending out things, and all of that's fine. But nothing takes the place of face-to-face -face interaction. When people see your face and they see that smile, it makes a difference. 
I want you and the same smiles you had coming across the stage. When you meet people, let them know you believe in yourself and what you're doing. It's like the young woman today who said to me when I said, what are your plans? She looked at me with the greatest smile, with confidence and humility, and she said, I will be an ambassador. Give her a round of applause for that idea. I loved it. It was amazing. It really was. And so finally, it has been my tradition to quote the words of our first president, the late Alvin Kuhn, to the first graduating class in 1970 when he said this, graduates, if you bring to the future the same personal qualities and commitment to excellence that you brought to this campus as students, good and important things will happen to each of you and all those around you, and we will be so proud to be a part of your lives. And now for me, students, be confident, knowing that your education has given you a solid foundation for the rest of your lives. Know that if you persevere, and you will, you will reach your goals, though you will be challenged along the way. Never forget all the obstacles you faced, you've overcome them the same way you have faced those challenges in school and out, and health issues, and all kinds of challenges, yet you know you never give up. Keep that same perseverance. And remember that your dreams, and most important, your character, will determine who you will become. Your character will be reflected most clearly in the courage you possess and in your compassion for others. And so be true to yourselves and true in your relationships and always work to elevate other people, even when times are challenging. We must elevate each other as human beings, as Americans and as others, to say we can do this, that we are better than we think we are. Undergraduates, we are so proud of you. You may now turn your tassels. Let's give them a standing ovation. Standing ovation for the graduates. Standing ovation for the graduates. You got your stuff? <laughs> At this time, remain standing. We are going to sing the alma mater. Very important that no one leave. We respect ourselves and the university. We want you to stay in this arena until we finish, and then we'll have the recessional, and you'll have a great time with families. And so with that, the alma mater. Everyone, kindly remain standing until the platform party, faculty and staff, and graduates have recessed. Family and friends are asked to meet the graduates outside of the arena. Uh, congratulations, graduates, and enjoy the day.